14 and Dark Souls 3. Also, I should probably mention before we start, if we do, if you're doing the hollow ending, you'll know it's the hollow ending with this statue is right here. This one right here in the middle. That's right in front of me. And don't hit it. You hit it, you, you'll fuck up the third ending completely. So, don't do that. Hopefully in this video, we shall be fighting the Pontiff. And progressing Grey Rat's quest. If I've done it correctly, I'm not sure if I have or not. But first, first things first, we're going to use that shortcut we got last episode to run like hell. The dogs are probably going to chase me. The dogs are chasing me. I don't care about them though. Oh, wow. In case you didn't know, you can hold circle to sort of go up ladders quicker. It's not much quicker, but it is quicker. Now, uh, another thing you need to learn is that Pontiff Knights aren't that tough unless you're at extremely low levels. So we're gonna... I'm gonna fight one. In front of the boss fog, no less, just to show you. What the fuck was that? Okay, that's weird. Don't know what that attack he did, the sort of fought the sort of aura he did around him. I don't know what that was. Pontiff Knight Curved Sword, an excellent thing to get. Just do these swap here, so just smack the fuck out of him. And then you have another shortcut. You're gonna wanna fucking get it. I'll come back to that pawn of night in a sec. There's something else I wanna grab. Now these are summon signs. You can summon Londor Pale Shade if you're on the hollow ending. Black Hand Godhard will be right here, and Henri will be right there. Over there, in the that side. And here we have Ring of the Sun's firstborn. And the lightning gem. Ring of the Sun's firstborn greatly boosts miracles, so it's very good to have that. Now there's a fire witch down there, and I'm gonna kill him too, so don't be sure not to aggro him, because if he, you'll know if he's aggroed. If he uh so don't don't just don't run. Don't run by him right there, and he won't aggro. Drop anything? No. That's okay too. Now, before we go off to uh, fight Pontiff, I'm going to see if I can progress Grey Rat's quest. I'm not sure if I will be able to progress Grey Rat's quest, if I can say the word, because I've never done this part. Because you have to have Patches and Grey Rat alive, and I've never, I've never done this, but. Hopefully I can do it. Only four minutes in the video, so. So hopefully. Hopefully we have enough time. I believe firstly you have to talk to Patches and he'll say something about uh Grey Rat. As far as we've known, Patches, he, he doesn't trust anyone. He's an asshole to everyone, but not not Grey Rat. So you can buy some shit from him if you want. Ah, I see you've made Grey Rat. The slinking rodent. But he did me a good turn back in Lothric Dungeon. Doubtless I should do something about that little dead. Well, maybe not. Well, I can hardly believe he's still standing. <laughs> Why does he sell embers for 5,000? It's like fucking double price. I never realized he sold them for 5,000.
the horse hoof ring. I figure I'll buy that. Thanks, good compere. So, you know, go ahead and tell it to Patches. He'll say some shit about Grey Rat, you know. I found that it actually negates a small amount of fall damage if you roll as soon as you hit the ground. Very sm very minute, but... Oh, and also, you take less fall damage if you have no equipment on, so... I'm gonna go ahead and buy a bunch of shit from Grey Rat, like, as much as I can. In case he does die, because I hope he doesn't. Goodbye. <laughs> but... Oh, and in one piece. What is it? Changed your mind? I'm ready to go thieving at a moment's notice. Mmm, a fine choice. I am Grey Rat the Thief. <laughs> Goodbye. I will leave for some time. Do stay safe, you hear? <laughs> so he's most likely going to die. He, he, he will die 100% of the time in Irithyll. Like, if you send him to Irithyll, he will die. No, there's no, there's no doubt about that. So what you have to do is you have to sit, get patches. Tell, patches will probably, I'll ask, if I do it right, Patches will ask, where'd Grey Rat go? And you, your first instinct is do not tell him where the fuck Grey Rat went. Grey, Grey Rat went. Don't tell him where he went, because Patches is an asshole who kicks people down fucking cliffs and shit. But that's your first instinct, but don't trust that instinct, as he did say he owes Grey Rat a favor. And, well, cashing out on that favor could be saving him. Oh, God. Wait just a minute. I don't think I've done it right. Wait. Which is why I purchased that shit from Grey Rat at the, at the moment. I think he has to have the Katarina armor Can't find to do it. I'm not sure. Oh, God. Wait. <laughs> Can't find any. I'm gonna quit out one more time. I think he has to still have the Katarina armor that he stole from uh, Sigvard to do Grey Rat's quest. I'm not exactly sure. As I've, like I've said, I've never done this, so. If you guys know how to do it, then by all means, tell me in the comments, or I might figure out my own by watching someone else's fucking YouTube video or something. But, you know, I'll hopefully I'll be able to get it one of these days. If, if not today. Oh. Wait. <laughs> yeah, 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 I, I fucked it. Grey Rat's gonna die. Fantastic. He's never coming back. I wonder if... Yeah. Seed of a giant, giant tree will only appear when you're in... Uh, once you've done something in PvP. So, keep that in mind. If a red phantom invades your world, you can make the, all the enemies in the world go after them, too. But Grey Rat's gonna die, that's... Meh, it's fine. I don't care at this point, never done done any other, other, other thing for it, so... But now, we're going to go fight, fight the Pontiff. And I am going, this is the only, this is it's probably going to be the only boss fight where I'm going to summon someone for the fight. I'm going to summon a uh, fucking uh, Black Hand Gotthard or Henri. Because I've never summoned, I've never summoned Londor Paleshade. And I have, and uh, so I don't know. But I have summoned both Black Hand and Henri. And they just, it, it makes Pontiff way too tough. Even on a first playthrough. Because... Like, because if you summon two people, Pontiff has 200% health, attack damage, etc., etc. But, they are invaluable distractions. Wait, I wasn't supposed to go down here. Fuck. However, the uh, damage boost to Pontiff pretty much just killed them both, and I died too. So, I was on the first playthrough. So, I on like a new game. So, I would, you know, definitely suggest not doing that. I'd also suggest going into Pontiff with as much health as possible, so try not to get hit, if you can. Another thing is that you gotta watch out for that, the one with the scythe over there, because he will fuck you up. 
So what I usually do for this fight is I summon uh, Henri or Black Hand. It doesn't really matter which one you summon. They're both pretty good. Um, but don't summon both. And also, I've never summoned Londor Pale Shade. Anyways, it's time to fight the Pontiff. I'm going to turn the audio down a bit to where I can actually, so you guys will be able to hear me a bit better during the boss fight. Then again, it doesn't really matter. And if you want to hear the music, just go search up the music, honestly. Still want to be able to hear it, though. Oh, that deactivates it. Cool. Now, he'll always do this move first time, so you're going to want to evade or parry it. You can see I'm dealing some pretty nice damage to him. out when he hits the second phase because he's gonna get up like that. Um, he'll summon a clone, so wait for the clone summoning. That animation. Just smash, smash the fuck out of the clone. He can. There's not much of a good thing to do with the clone. Get back and you see that coming. Because he'll also slam his sword down, but usually he He'll also do a he'll also do a big AoE, so gotta watch out for that too. If you can kill the clone, he'll have to take time to resummon the clone, so keep that in mind. As you can see, he's not very tough with a summon. If you summon someone, Pontiff is a joke. If you fight him one-on-one, -on -one, he's pretty tough. But when it's two-on-one, or two-on-two -two because of his clone, it's not even part of a boss. It's almost kind of sad, really. Um, now out here, there are two Crystal Lizards, and you'll never be able to get both of them, so... Uh, really, like I said in an earlier video, you really really should go tall to Yuria to progress the hollow quest line. Damn it, just barely missed him. So, if a crystal lizard gets away, just quit out. This doesn't work in every game. It won't work in Dark Souls 2, and it won't, really won't work in Demon Souls. And I, I believe it'll work in Dark Souls 1, though. I'm not really sure. I haven't really tested it. But I do know it works in three, like 100% of the time. I have to check my, the percentage, the charge. I usually just, you know, go ahead and get these crystal lizards after I beat Pontiff, so I don't have to come back later and get them. First, I'm going to go back to Firelink to spend these souls and to talk to Yuria. But I, I, I would do this with no summons. But honestly, I really don't. If you, if you can do it, if you want, it doesn't. You can do it. It's really easy. So go fucking do it. You can fight Pontiff one on one if you want. You can, but I don't. I don't want to. So do whatever. I'm gonna talk to Patches, see if he'll fucking talk about Grey Racks. I don't think he will. 
Oh. Ah, a sneak devil. Well. <laughs> ah, a step well. No. Ah, a step well. Guess not. I wonder if that means Grey Rat came back. Anyway, before I forget, I should probably go and talk to Yuria before I start fucking around and doing a bunch of other BS. So you have to wait for Stop. this line of dialogue ah, after Pontiff. Good tidings. My spouse is ready. The time now that see. means I you're could, gonna you're, you've you've progressed the quest see. line. Tell me. And you have to talk to her before Pontiff. Oh, Grey Rat actually came back. What the fuck? Oh, then, thank the. I might have died if it wasn't for that peculiar onion knight. But in the take a good look. So either uh, either uh, Siegfried will save him or Patches will save him if he if he has Siegfried's armor. So bear that in mind because I've never actually gotten this far really with Grey Rat's quest. Like legitimately, I'm not even joking. Standard arrow, large arrow, fire, moonlight. Oh, he sells moonlight arrows. Dragon Slayer, Lightning, Dragon Slayer, Great Arrow, Standard Bolt, Heavy Sniper, Lightning Bolt, there are Lightning Bolts? Knight, Assassin, Thief, <sighs> Scholar's Candlestick, Lothric Knight, Great Sword. Oh, it does Lightning Damage? I could probably do a build with that, like a Faith build. Mace, War Pick, Spear. Lothric Knight, Long Spear. Lothric Knight, Great Shield. Pontiff Knight, Shield. Interesting. He sells Titanite Scales and Twinkling Titanites. Some Lightning Urns. Not gonna buy them. He sells Divine Blessing and Hidden Blessing. Still sells some Fire Bombs. And Repair Powder now. That's pretty good, actually. I didn't. Goodbye. Oh, this place. <laughs> so either you have to get Grey Rat to, uh, you have to have to Grey Rat for Grey Rat to survive Aerithil, You have to have the Onion Knight alive, meaning you either have to have Siegfried alive or have Patches still have this fucking armor. Also, I should probably let you guys look at uh, Pontiff's Soul. There, now you've looked at it, <sighs> and what you can transfuse with uh, his soul. Ah. Uh. You can make his two great swords. The uh, great sword of judgment, which I'm not going to use. It looks pretty cool though. It's got a, it's the purple one. And then the profaned great sword, which I could use because it's more of a strength build, but it's an ultra great sword. I'm never going to use it. So there you go. Now you've read it. There. I'm not going to get either of them. Because uh, there's there's a way to cheese a boss in the DLC with uh, the profaned great sword. But basically, it just needs to, it's charged R2 needs to be thrust, and you can do the same with the Fugs. So we're going to use his soul, and it gives 12,000? Yeah. Well, and to make sure it was 12,000, I wasn't quite sure. Um, I'll get intelligence up to 10, so I can talk to Orbeck later, because I, you know, I can just go and do that. And I'm going to put more points in strength. Farewell, Ashen Money. I need 18,000 to level up. 5, 6,000. Yeah, I don't, I definitely don't have enough. No, wait, that's. Just enough. Got just enough. I was wrong. Welcome. I was, I was counting day. wrong. Strength of 37. Because we want 50 by, by later later in the game. So you can just go ahead and sell that. So she doesn't really sell anything that interesting. Pretty standard stuff. It's Grey Rat who sells the good shit. You can send him off one more time, but I won't spoil what happens. Let's just say you better... Oh, Buy all the shit if you're gonna before you send him off. Buy everything you can from him. Oh yeah, he does sell these cheaper because uh, you can buy Titanite scales later and they cost twenty and Twinkling's like fifteen, so they are a bit cheaper. 
Ah, oh, the Lothric Knight Greatsword needs 16 in Dexterity. I was thinking about buying it. Like, or actually, I think I might do it. I might, I could probably do a build with it. 24 and 16. Yeah. Good luck. Buy that some other time. I don't really know what I should do to finish off this, you know, just finish off this video because I can't upgrade it. Can't really upgrade anything. Can't, use anything. can't level up. I think I'm just gonna buy a, do what I do best, buy a shit ton of fire bombs. That is a literal fuck ton of fire bombs. Honestly, I think that's enough. I think it should probably end this video now. 20 minutes so I'll see you guys next time when we start in the next area.